Okay, safety time. Not all resins are created equal, but they do all contain chemicals. Your resin should have a safety data sheet. You should be able to read what's in it. And it will also go through the safety precautions that you need to take with that particular resin. I always recommend wearing a mask to everybody. This is the mask that I use. And I'm gonna show you what I like about it. This mask is great because it's got adjustable straps and it has all the ratings that you need for a mask, but it also, you can um, change the filters. So you can see these ones are pretty dirty. You can put new filters in there. When you see how dirty this is, you can see how much of that did not go into your lungs. This was actually used outside as well. So there's a lot of sawdust in here, not just from resin. So don't worry, your resin shouldn't be creating that much dirt for you to filter out. But uh, that's why we have changeable filters and a lot of them will come with a whole new section here. So you can just change everything out. This mask fits on really nicely. I can just put it right over, do it up behind my neck. You should always use a mask. Now I've messed up my hair. You should always use the mask when you're working with resin. Some people are just a lot more sensitive to it than others. There's uh, definitely some safety equipment that you should invest in before you even start. Mask, guys, a mask.